I've specified that interest rates are measured using bills, notes and bonds. Now we're going to look at specifically how we can derive the interest rates from the prices of these securities. And then we're going to have a look at exactly what type of relationship exists between these prices and the interest rates. Now for simplicity, I am just going to talk about bonds here. I don't want to keep repeating bills, notes and bonds. So I'm just going to say bonds, but be aware that everything I say here applies to all three. In the case where there are no coupons, it is extremely simple to get the interest rate from the price. So we've got this equation here. How exactly did we arrive at it? Well, imagine you've got an amount of money equal to the price of the bond. On the one hand, imagine investing that, you know, at some interest rate for a number of years n. So you've got the price, then you invest it at the interest rate, you get multiplied by 1 plus i to the power of n. We want to find the interest rate for which this investment is equivalent to investing it in a bond. And if we invest it in a bond, then the amount we have after n years is just the face value. So we want this expression to be equal to face value. So doing some very simple rearranging here, you just divide both sides by 1 plus i to the n. That cancels out with that, and we've got that expression. So the interest rate we would get from a zero coupon bond is the rate which satisfies